Okay, so this is the popcorn stitch. It's a cute little stitch you can use on baby blankets or scarves or whatever. Um, and it's four rows of knitting to make this little bumpy stitch here. So the first row, the right side row, you just purl across, all the way across to the end. And then if you have a little border, you just knit your border. I usually like to put a border around it, like a little frame. So you just purl right across. So the second row of the popcorn stitch is going to be where you do the actual stitches. You do the wrong side row and you are going to knit into your first stitch like you normally would, but you're not going to take your loop off. You're going to leave it on your needle. Bring your yarn around to the front and purl. Don't take your loop off. Bring your yarn back around and knit one more time. So that's three stitches into one loop. And then the next three, you're going to purl together, all three of them. And that'll give you the same number of stitches you started with. So knit. Don't take it off. Bring the yarn around. Purl. Bring your yarn back around. Knit. And then purl three together. And you can do the popcorn stitch on any multiple of four. So you can adapt this to any pattern you want as long as you have a multiple of four for your stitches. You can make your blanket or your scarf any size you want. So this is our third one. And then we're going to purl together. And then I'm going to knit my little border. And that will be the end of row two. So for row three, it's just another row of purling across on the right side. And you just purl all the way across until you get to your border and knit your border and get ready for row four. And so row four, your last row of the popcorn stitch, is going to be basically the opposite of row two. So you're going to purl three together first. And then you're going to knit one, don't take the loop off, purl one just like before, knit one all in the same loop, and then slide it off the end, and then purl three. So it's basically the same as row two, you just start with purling three instead of starting with this part, knit, purl, knit into one stitch and then purl three and it's it's an easy pattern because once you've done it for a couple rows you've got it all memorized you don't have to carry your instruction sheet around with you you can just sit and veg out watch TV and knit away and it's a little awkward to start with but once you've done it for a few rows you get the hang of it and you just fly right along and knit your border like this and then you have your little bumpy popcorn blanket or scarf.